Hello everyone. In this video today, I'm going to talk about 2019 uh, novel coronavirus. My emphasis will be on transmission, prevention and treatment of Wuhan coronavirus 2019. I will provide you with the current statistics. What is the total number of people that have died and what is the total number of people that have been infected with this? How many countries have been infected? and uh, what are the signs and symptoms of this coronavirus and what is the current uh, update on the development of vaccine for this global outbreak and also i will provide you with the information about how to prevent yourself from getting infected with this global outbreak so first thing first coming to the statistics um as of february 29 2025 gmt 85,210 confirmed cases have been reported and these cases include all the continents of the world and 60 countries and territories. So and 2,924 uh, deaths have been reported so far and out of the to total infection 39,518 people have recovered from the infection of uh, 2019 novel coronavirus. So what are the active cases currently? Currently, 42,768 um, patients are infected with uh, this virus, out of which 82% are in mild condition, which numbers to 34,952. But 18% are in serious or critical conditions. This is where we, we really need to be worry, uh, worried about. Which uh, the number is actually 7,816 people. We didn't know this. Uh, maybe this may uh, some of them will recover from uh, their condition, and some of uh, them may die. Okay, so these are the active cases. Now I'm going to talk to you about what are what are the closed cases. 42,442 cases have been closed. Uh, because you know these 39,518 people they have actually recovered or they were discharged from the hospitals but and also you know this uh, 2,924 people you know who had died so the case uh, for them is also closed okay so this is the uh, overview of current uh, statistics on the um, coronavirus infection the next I'm going to talk here about, like I said before, 60 countries and territories uh, have reported confirmed cases of coronavirus infection. China standing at number one position where 79,252 confirmed cases have been reported and 2,835 people have died from the infection of coronavirus in China. And in South Korea, 2,931 Confirmed cases have been reported and 17 people have died from the infection of this coronavirus. In the European world, Italy stands at number one position where 889 total confirmed cases have been reported and 21 people have died. This is a very big number. 21 people have died in Italy itself. And while talking about the Europe, um, I would also like to talk, mention, uh, talk to you, mention you for Germany here. Germany have reported 60 cases and also France, which has reported 57 confirmed cases. And two people in France actually have died from the infection of coronavirus. So here I'm going to talk about what is the uh, transmission rate of this virus. For example, if one person is infected with this virus, and he may infect two or three new persons so two to three new infected cases from one case so and this number will keep on multiplying for example if one of your friend is sick he's gonna make two or three of your friends sick and this number will keep on multiplying because the transmission rate is really really high uh, with this virus and uh, talking about the incubation period so basically uh, if you are infected with this virus for 2 to 14 days you you will not so any show any symptoms therefore you know it's it will be very difficult for the doctors and for you to um to to diagnose that if you are infected with this virus or not and in some cases actually the, the incubation period may last up to 27 days up to 27 days there will not be any symptoms so it will be really hard 
uh, to it will be really hard for the doctors and you to uh, you to you to diagnose that if you are infected with this virus or not okay so the incubation because of this uh, high incubation period according to the early estimates uh, of the world health organization the fatality rate of this virus uh, fatality rate of the the infection with this virus is 2% so it's not a very high number but and like i said before the countries and territories that have reported confirmed cases of this virus uh, now numbers are up to 60 so what are the symptoms uh, i'm going to talk here about the symptoms the symptoms are very common symptoms they include fever cough and shortness of breath and the typical symptoms of uh, COVID-19 typically mm, causes flu-like symptoms that includes fever and cough. In some patients, but particularly the patients who are old and also the patients who are actually infected with other chronic health conditions, other chronic diseases, and the symptoms can, symptoms can develop into pneumonia, chest, chest tightness, chest pain and shortness of breath. Okay, and also uh, I'm, I'm gonna t oh, here I'm gonna talk about how this uh, the infection of this virus develops. First, you will have a fever, and which will be followed by a dry cough. And after a week, this will lead to shortness of breath, and about 20% of patients actually requiring hospital treatment. But uh, with COVID-19, 2019 novel coronavirus infection, it, uh, it, it really seems to cause runny nose, sneezing, or sore throat. Only in 5% of patients, uh, this has been reported, which are actually this runny nose, sore throat, and snuffy nose are most common signs of a cold. So, more statistics, 81 infections, 81% 81, 81 of infections are mild with flu-like symptoms and the, the, the patients uh, showing these symptoms, they can actually recover at home. Around 14% are, per are severe uh, and uh, these severe symptoms actually, in, uh, severe patients include, you know, patient, patients showing symptoms of pneumonia and shortness of breath. Around 5% case, cases are critical and that uh, the, the symptoms might include respiratory failure, septic shock, shock, uh, or and multi-organ failure. And only two percent of the reported cases of the virus of this virus is fertile. The is actually plays a very important role in this 2019 global novel coronavirus infection. The risk of death increases um, if you are old, then you have the higher risk of dying from the infection of this virus and relatively few cases are seen seen among young children okay so what is the current update on the development of vaccine for this coronavirus find this the, 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 the 2019 novel coronavirus can be fertile it may lead to several symptoms so what is the what is the sign what are the scientists around the world are doing to make uh, the vaccine for this virus so i'm going to provide you with the update here the the company named modern uh, therapeutics a biology company based in cambridge actually they ha they have ship the first batches of uh, COVID-19 vaccine and it has been reported that the vaccine will be ready for human testing as early as April 2020. So I said that this 2019 novel coronavirus can be fertile if you are old and also you know it's very very it's, it's transmitting at a very high rate so now question comes how to prevent yourself from getting infected with this virus simple uh, preventive and sanitization measures that will actually help you prevent from getting infected with this virus third uh, you can actually cover your mouth and nose when you go outside from your room or apartment just make sure that you cover your mouth and nose and also you should try to avoid close contact with person showing this symptoms like uh, uh, flu-like symptoms or the, the other person you know who are sick you know tr you need to, you should try to avoid close contact with them and it's better that if you wear mask or you know personal protective equipment if you are working in a healthcare setting or if you are even a 
a common uh, the, the, the individual if when you want to go outside to process things you know it's better that you wear mask okay and also it's uh, the very simple uh, standard hygiene measure that is washing hands with the antiseptics you know before eating things or before uh, after, after you come to return to your room or the apartment from the market from shopping or whatever then make sure that you wash your hands um, properly with with antiseptics actually this will also uh, prevent you from getting infected with this uh, virus because this virus was uh, initially reported to have been found in animal and from the animal it got transmit, uh, transmitted to the human so it's better to avoid unnecessary contact with the animals and when if you are cooking some meat it's highly recommended that you cook thoroughly um, to avoid uh, the um, infection of this virus and if you are feeling sick it's better that you stay at home so that you know you don't uh, uh, infect others and if you are showing the signs and symptoms such as fever, cough, and difficulty in breathing, uh, breathing, then you're highly recommended to visit the doctor. Okay, this simple common sanitization and simple common preventive methods will help you protect from this 2019 novel coronavirus. I hope this video was helpful in getting the latest update on 2019, corona, 2019 novel coronavirus. Thank you very much for your attention.